Hello and welcome to Narrowboat Chef. Today on the menu we're doing something a little bit different. We have decided to get in touch with some other boat tubers and we've given them a little bit of a challenge. Mm. It's a, how would you explain it? It's a, like a blind recipe. Yeah, so we've given them a list of ingredients, but we haven't given them any instructions. We haven't told them what they're making. And we're going to get on a Skype call with them. And while well, we're making the dish, we'll be giving them the instructions on how to make yeah. the dish. So one of us will be making it here while the other's on the Skype call reading out the method and instructions yeah, yeah. well not reading out because we don't have it written down, we don't have it written down. <laughs> apart from the ingredients yeah. we're kind of just winging it <laughs> <laughs> we know how it's made but we haven't actually written it down yet yeah <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to mm. see whether the recipe turns out as it's supposed to yeah It'll be interesting whether or not they'll guess what they're making before the yeah, end of so it. so we're not going to tell you either what we're making. No. So if you do guess just from the ingredients yeah. or halfway through the video or whenever... Just pop it down in the comments before the video ends. <laughs> yeah. So our guests this week for our virtual cooking challenge, uh, Chris and Shell from their channel Chris and Shell, <laughs> or previously known as Narrowboat Chronicles. Uh, they are vegan, so we have chosen a vegan recipe. Um, one of my mum's vegan ones that she sent me, and we have tried it before. Yeah. It is very tasty. <laughs> very tasty. So let's go give them a call. Hey, hey. guys. <laughs> Hello, how are you? All right, how are you guys doing? Yeah, good. Very good, thank you. Yeah, very good. Are you very interested in what we're going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> Ready for this mystery challenge? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get right into it then. Yeah. So, okay. Ryan's going to be doing the cooking on our end, and I'll be giving you the fantabulous instructions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be, uh, I've gone, sorry, I'll be cooking our end, and Shell will be in the director's chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like we're in good hands then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you go to your station. Right and See you later. Ready, steady, cook. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Right. Everybody ready on the stations? Yeah. We're ready. Ready. <laughs> okay. So the first step that you're going to need to do is get your tin of chickpeas. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we're going to put them or drain them. Drain and rinse them. Drain and rinse. Same as that, dear. Thanks, Shell. That was a this. great help. <laughs> we have uh, rinsed chickpeas. Rinsed rinse chickpeas. Chickpea. Who won that round? <laughs> uh, you won that. Ryan's still going. <laughs> okay, so set your chickpeas aside. And then you're going to need to get your onion. Onion? Oh yeah. Yes. Chop onion. Brown chop onion. onion. And we're going to chop it. So take the top and the bottom off. Does this have to be chopped in any certain way? So not particularly. We're going to rough chop it into some... What's the word? Dice. That's the word I was looking for. Dice. Just diced. It's going in the processor anyway, so... <laughs> Right, chopped. We are chopped. They're beating you, Ryan. Yeah. He's probably very precious about how he cuts his onions. <laughs> Whereas I'm not. Chris has just manhandled ours. <laughs> okay, so now we need to bring out the food processor. Yeah. Yes, that is ready. Now, ours is a relatively small one, so it might be better to do it in two batches, but... <laughs> We, we'll tend, see we, go. we tend to put it all in, give it a quick whiz, and if it's not working, take half of it out, continue whizzing, uh, right. and then, but we'll just see how we go. Should we preheat the oven? Yeah, right. We should, probably should, that's, <laughs> that's a good point that Ryan's just uh, <laughs> brought up. 
the first step was actually preheat the oven, which I've completely missed. Um. So. <laughs> Have you got gas marks or Celsius? Gas marks, please. Right, please. so we need yeah. gas mark five. It's all right, Cheryl, I'll get it. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> ovens are on? Yeah, ovens yep. are on. So into your food processor, you're going to put your chickpeas, your 400 grams drained chickpeas. Chickpeas are in. And then you'll add your chopped onions. Yep, chopped onions there. Next is 100 grams of walnuts. Oh, your Australian accent came out then, mate. Yeah, we are. <laughs> grams. <laughs> grams. <laughs> Put your grams in there, mate. <laughs> you don't have to eat the ones that are taking it over, Ryan. You can put them back in the bag. I don't know what you're about. <laughs> Quality assurance. Uh -huh. Okay, so then we need the four tablespoons of ground linseed. Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. <laughs> Otherwise known as tibisp. Tisp. Tibips. Yeah. <laughs> I've done three heaps. Three heaps. Three heaps. I always being a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it doesn't work out in the end, that's on you then. <laughs> Next is a tablespoon of oats. Cool. Tablespoon of oats. Tablespoon of oats. Just out of um, curiosity, have you made this recipe before? We have, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two days ago. Is it a house, house <laughs> favourite? Uh, the one time we've cooked it, it was good. So. The one time we've cooked it, yeah. <laughs> it's one of one of the ones we got from Mum. <laughs> wow. Bless. That's lovely. <laughs> when you raided her boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so next you're going to need a tablespoon of dry mixed herbs and a teaspoon of dry basil. Tisp of basil. Just teaspoon. Yep. Just not tubers. <laughs> <laughs> A teaspoon of paprika. Yeah. A, a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Yeah. You can use smoked if you like, but we don't like the smoked stuff, so. No, I'm not keen on smoked stuff. Right. Next ingredient is a teaspoon of ground black pepper or cracked black pepper. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Yep. Check. Check. <laughs> Uh, we need two tabusp, two tablespoons of Ooh. soy sauce. I've uh, always not got the oh, soy got sauce oh. out ready. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I always have my soy sauce ready. <laughs> Ryan puts okay. soy sauce in everything. Was it two tablespoons? <laughs> two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, darling. Well, We've got a bigger one. one out, I've got a new one. Yeah. It's premium soy sauce as well. I went posh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get supermarket so We're the very definition of posh. <laughs> <laughs> so then we need two tablespoons of oil. Just vegetable oil. Any vegetable oil you've got. You know, I'll have to stop for a drink, dear. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Crack on. <laughs> so the final ingredient is one and a half teaspoons of garlic or three garlic cloves whichever you've got i like portions on garlic <laughs> this is good don't do one clove in this house no <laughs> no it's just not worth it you've got to go <laughs> at least go two. <laughs> i feel like that was almost close to two <laughs> have you got a posh gadget for garlic or is he using his new knife <laughs> uh, we've we've got this posh gadget called pre-bought as a paste. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Colin, off! You're cheating. 
<laughs> All right, so the next step is put the lid on and blitz it up for it? several minutes until it <laughs> until it forms this sticky kind of paste. It's a what, sorry? Sticky kind of paste. Happy? Yes. <laughs> Does this dish have an origin? Country of origin. Country of origin, I mean. I'm not entirely sure. Or is that a big clue? <laughs> <laughs> I would I don't know, I'd say maybe Australia or the UK. Oh. Oh, oh I've been thinking yeah, I was Marrakesh or... Yeah, Moroccan or Turkish. Or maybe American, actually. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So you've no guesses as to what we're possibly making? I was thinking some sort of flan. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> Going way too fancy. <laughs> yes, way too fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I thought it was some sort of quiche. Then it went flan, and now you've completely thrown me. <laughs> oh, but what is this then? All right, we're ready to move on to the next steps. Yep. Right, so you'll need a tray and you'll need to put some baking paper on it. Is that about big enough, Maggie? Uh, yep, that's yeah, that perfect. Be... So that should be fine. Yeah. Stop eating yet? it! Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, you, you won't have any left. <laughs> Alright, so if you just set the tray aside and then if you get out your puff pastry and you just want to unroll that. Most um, pastry that we get in Australia actually comes in squares in the freezer, like as a square, mm. flat square rather than rolled. Oh, so you have to roll it out? No, no, it's already rolled out as a thin thing and they've just got like bits uh, of paper in between and you get like five oh, or six right, slices, like square slices unrolled. of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just interesting tidbit for you there. <laughs> All right, so with your unrolled uh, pastry, if you have the long edge parallel with the bench, the edge of the bench, so that it's, uh, what's the term? Landscape? Yeah, yeah landscape. landscape. <laughs> that way. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you want to cut a horizontal line in the middle of it. So cut it in half lengthways. Again, parallel with the edge of the bench. Next step is to get your uh, sticky chickpea mixture yeah. and you want to place it on the bottom strip and at the very bottom of the strip, so along the bottom edge of the bottom strip. <laughs> I How think that makes sense. How far from the edge? Probably about a centimetre. Okay. And you want to make the mixture go to about halfway up the strip. Okay. And how deep? What's what do you got there, sweetie? I don't know. Like I'm just about, pressing it down. I'm following your instructions. <laughs> about, <laughs> about a centimeter. You're following my instructions. Yeah, I'm following your instructions. <laughs> I'm looking at what you're doing and giving them the instructions. Uh, so it's <laughs> it's about a centimeter deep, and you're forming it into sort of a a sausagey kind of. I feel like I'm giving it away now. Yeah. <laughs> Any guess as to what we're making now? I think we know. <laughs> so he's just speeding up now. He knows what he's making. <laughs> yeah, I think that might have given it away. <laughs> so you probably won't use all of your mixture. Um, but you probably use it roughly half for the first one and you want it to go all the way to the edges of of the, the short edges of the pastry. Oh, you're doing lovely. Yeah. One more scoop. One more scoop. There. Yeah. 
It's really interesting doing this and not quite knowing what the other side is doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of different shapes we end up with. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I've just had a little um, taste of the mixture. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's mm -hmm. just tasted it. <laughs> Quality assurance is very important. He only tasted it now. I've been eating it almost the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how much I needed. <laughs> All right, so once you've done that one, you probably want the easiest ways to turn the pastry around and do the same thing on the other one. Or you can leave it that way, but just put it on the top it. I think it's going to be a perfect tea for a, a rainy night in. Mm. I think so. Wait, no, you don't know what we're making. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't got a clue. Really don't know. <laughs> It's a flan from Morocco, isn't it? <laughs> Moroccan flan. <laughs> Our filling is now on the pastry. Okay. Ryan, stop eating it. I don't know what you're doing, man. It's tasting. Next step is to get some of your milk, whatever plant milk you're using. We've got the pastry brush out for the first time in probably two years today. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> He's like, you. we did have one. Have we still got it? God, no. All right, so we should have a little bit of milk in a cup or a dish or yep. something easy to dip your brush into. And then you'll want to brush the milk over the center area where you've got the cut in the middle and you probably want to do it about a center a meter and a half to two centimeters down the pastry towards the filling or up the okay. pastry towards the filling depending on <laughs> which one you're brushing so with the bottom part bottom pastry <laughs> this is this is much harder than i thought it was going to be <laughs> Keep it clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> uh, right, so use the paper of the that the pastry came in and yeah. use that to help you roll the filling the, yeah, roll the pastry over and the pe the paper's quite good for helping you kind of push it down and into the round shape that you want and you want it to roll completely over so that the bottom edge meets the top edge of that to create so a is, seal this is really hard to explain it's still in a blanket yes you want the, the pastry to overlap by a small amount so that the part that you've wet wet with your milk sticks together we're just taking some filling out because we've got too much filling <laughs> We had that issue the first time we did it. <laughs> yeah, make a seal with your, with your wet thumb. edge. And it should become a roll. Like a, a pastry Somebody tube a filled with that mix. Yeah. Like a Moroccan roll. Yeah. <laughs> a pastry tube filled with sausage like mixture. <laughs> what can it be? Mm. Yeah, anybody's guess at this point. Mm. <laughs> okay, oh, come on. he's done oh, one. One? Okay, so with that first one, you need a knife, sharp knife, and you want to cut it in half. In half? In half? In half. Oh, he's a bit disappointed by that, I think he got <laughs> one <laughs> large one to himself. <laughs> It probably cooks a little bit better in half and then cut the two halves in half again so you should end up with four pastry tubes filled with sausage like mixture <laughs> four tubes of goodness the funniest quiche i've ever seen maggie ah. <laughs> and so once you cut those up if you just want to pop those ones onto your prepared baking tray so the cut edges can be closer to each other because they won't puff up as much um so you need to make space like a sausage roll tray whoa oh. <laughs> <laughs>
The surprise is ruined. <laughs> Rock and roll. Sorry. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> um, Say that. Moroccan pastry sushi. <laughs> pastry sushi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then once you've cut those and put them on the tray, you just want to repeat the process with the second one. So baste it with the milk, roll it, cut it, put it on the tray. Play. Look nice. They fit perfectly into our mini tray for our mini oven. <laughs> Gorgeous. Right. All right. Got them all on your tray? Yes. Okay, so final step before we pop them in the oven. Well, not quite a final step. Um, second last step? I'd say second last step. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, 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 it's not, it's not the milk yet, Ryan. Follow my instructions. <sighs> so you want your sharp knife? You're doing it in the wrong order. I, no, no, I can do it this order. That's all right. Fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Do it your order then. Yeah. <laughs> Disregard the last instructions. <laughs> it's Ryan's way. Yeah. It's Ryan's way. So we are taking our pastry brush and our milk and we are brushing it lightly over them to give them a quick coat of milk on the top. And then with your knife, which I mentioned earlier, <laughs> um, take your knife and you want to make three cuts in the pastry. How am I going to explain this? <laughs> on the top of the rolls. The, the pastry sushi, sorry. Pastry sushi. <laughs> Put three cuts going. Three slits. Three slits. <laughs> yeah, going across the width. Yes, not going, not going lengthways, going. Evenly across. spaced three slits. So, yeah, three evenly spaced slits going across, across the, the width, width of each sushi roll. Sushi roll. <laughs> <laughs> So now we just need to put them in the oven and depending on your oven they will take anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour because that's how long it took us. <laughs> so how are you two doing in lockdown? Uh, yeah, lockdown is not that much different to normal life for us. In the marina, right? Apart from the fact that we stayed in the marina when we would have left the marina. So yeah, mm. other than that. <laughs> No different. No, no, not really. And just going out less to get shopping is just taking the essentials and that sort of thing. How's Pixel? Oh, she's been enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Hello. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure there was a food off on this bench recently. <laughs> I want to go and check it out. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> yes, our our dogs have got more needy while we've been at home more. Mm. So yeah, they're definitely demanding more, more cuddles. Have you adjusted to working on the boat, Shell? Um, each week I adapt more, so I find <laughs> a different seating position. Mm. But yes, I'm I'm fortunate enough to be able to work, so I get a wage. Because people have not been very lucky as so. yeah. It's quite difficult for a lot of people at, at the moment. So. so, is there anything you've done that you wouldn't have got done if you weren't in lockdown? Not. Yeah. Well, we did get a chest of drawers. We put the chest of drawers together. We, we wouldn't have bothered with that this year. We have started oh. renovating our bedroom and changing yeah. our bedroom. We wouldn't have done that if we hadn't been forced. And we have got paint for the walls of our narrow boat so that we can paint the walls. Oh. Feel it's a bit dark in our in our boat. So it is quite dark in our boat. Yeah. We'd like white, color. white, mm. white. Yeah. Or sort of off white. Yeah. Yeah. Are you doing all of the boat? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> it right. took us about six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we take out our what, what are we calling that? <laughs> sushi rolls. <laughs> well, let's just call them sausage rolls. It's obviously like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said really? the S word. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You said sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so we've taken our sausage rolls out of the oven. They look like sausage rolls. So we've taken yours out, and do they look like sausage rolls? Because that is what they're they supposed to be. Lovely. <laughs> we've had a couple of burst ones. Yeah. <laughs> Where's yeah. Sheldon? Do them up enough. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. I'm looking forward to eating them. Are we sampling one now? Uh, yes, we'll show you what ours look like and uh, you can show us what yours look like. <laughs> All right. Wish that's ours. Ta-da. Nice. Beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. Al. Oh. Your meat in my oh, tummy. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So we're going to sit and scoff. Hang on. And share a sausage roll on, over Skype. <laughs> <laughs> it's a modern world. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah. Social distancing. Well, I'm not using a fork. Oh. I'm just going to go straight in. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm not using a fork. <laughs> They're finger no chance. <laughs> I'm going to indulge. Bottoms up. Right, bottoms up, everybody. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you very much. (laughs) Mm. Come on. I'm eating, I'm eating. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're good. They are good. I think I'm coming out better this time. That's it now. We know what we'll be making at buffets. Yeah. <laughs> Great party food for a vegan, though. Mm. So, how did you Thank you enjoy- very much. Yeah, you enjoyed that recipe then? Gorgeous. Yeah. Definitely. Not. Really nice. Yeah. Cheers. See you yeah. wolf jaws down there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be pleased good then. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Lovely. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you for sharing that. That's lovely. Oh, very kind of you. <laughs> That was good Thank fun. Thank you both for your time as well. Yeah, it's well, Moroccan for lines, girl. That's the best I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they turned out. Yeah. <laughs> the instructions worked and yeah. <laughs> we managed to make something edible. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, that's all right. Wow. Yeah, that's brilliant. So if anybody wants to see Chris and Shell's uh, video, go over to to their channel and see that and likewise um, we'll put a link to now boat chef yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it's been really really fun doing this with you thank you very much for your time yeah it's been good it's right. really nice to see somebody it's nice to <laughs> nice to chat to you properly yeah. <laughs> properly over <laughs> over, over distance, over distance. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no it's been great Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Enjoy the rest of your (laughs) dinner. (laughs) Sausage rolls. (laughs) Sushi. Market market (laughs) rolls sushi, yeah. Whatever you want to call it. (laughs) And we'll see you later, guys. All right. Take care. Thank you very much. All the best. (laughs) Bye. 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 So we hope you've enjoyed a slightly different cooking vlog. (laughs) Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Whether you enjoyed it or... What you think we should call this mini yeah. series that we're planning on doing. Yeah. And don't forget to check out Chris and Shell's channel and see their version. Yeah, their point of view. Their, their point perspective. of view of the, of the challenge and how well they did. <laughs> because theirs turned out really good. Yeah, it did. I was impressed yeah. with my sometimes not so great instructions. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. (laughs) But I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.